What's up guys, my name is Mr. Tech Beast, and I'm here to bring you guys another Call of Duty Black Ops 2 gameplay with commentary. Today what I have for you guys is 132 kills with the Vector K10 playing on the map Raid. As I said, using the Vector with the Silencer and the Fast Mac combination, which is a really good combination to be using with the Vector. And the Vector, what I like about this SMG is it has a really high fire rate, but it has a low recoil as well, so it can help you mow down enemies up close as well. And when you're using Suppressor, it really doesn't take away from the damage and the range. When I see uh, from medium to far distance, it's still very effective it doesn't get it ineffective until about that cross map range something such as a map on drone where you're shooting from BDOM to like the bushes and seed on the map drone so that's why I really love the vector k10 as you can see I mowed down that enemy very easily and I think this weapon is going to become a huge factor in pro player uh, pro players gameplays especially gamers like optic and things of that nature because I think they're going to catch on to the weapon because of its low recoil the uh, d damage the fire rate and things of that nature especially when you're playing on maps like raid especially like capture the flag this can be a really good gun for uh, those type of game modes and I'm going to be using this weapon a ton today in my live stream so if you guys want to come over to the live stream be sure to check out twitch.tv backslash Mr. Tagbeast the link is down below in the description and after 30 minutes after this video goes live I will be streaming but what I want to talk to you guys in this commentary about is the new best SMG in Black Ops 2 now the SMG of my favorite right now is probably the Vector K10 this weapon is really good like you see he pre-fired me with the B23R and I just come around the corner and clean them up so easily and the, the vector k10 really shines in those small to medium distance engagements especially on a map like raid uh you can use this weapon on a map such as slum standoff hijack you know you want to use it on a small map where you can get in the enemy's face and that's what i really love doing as you can see my swarm is going super ham right now but yeah the vector k10 is the new best smg in black ops 2 post patch if you haven't seen that video a link is will be down below in the description so you can check that out as well but in the post patch they patched the pdw and the msmc out of the two SMGs that they did patch, they really didn't nerf them. I think they took a ton away from the MSMC and the PDW, especially from the PDW. The recoil on that thing just goes straight up and down, and it's not nearly as good as it used to be, where you could get on a map like Raid and go absolute work with it, but now you can't. The Vector K10 is the new best SMG. It has a ton of features on it, like the 36-round clip. It's not the best, but it's decent, and it's better than the MSMC. The MSMC packs 30 bullets, and this one packs 36. That'll get you easily a kill or two if someone's afk you probably can get two to three kills uh with the clip i say you can get around six to seven kills i average around seven to eight clips because you have to really know how to manage your ammo and right here you see me in the spawn with the vector k10 and like i said it mows down enemies and guys check out the recoil low to moderate recoil this weapon doesn't have any recoil in my opinion it feels like the acr from modern warfare 3 and that's why i really love using this weapon now some combinations you can use will be on screen right about now the silencer and fast mag combination the EMP and the C4 grenade and then for your perks you want to run ghost and hardline for your second perk you want to run toughness that way you really can take advantage of your uh, of your second perk and get toughness that way you can take advantage of the vector K10's low recoil and when you're getting hit toughness lets you uh, not flinch as much so it's going to be basically a laser beam from up close especially when you're getting hit and it's already a laser beam so the toughness perk really adds to it and in this game I was using scavenger but I recommend toughness because like I said it really helps helps with that recoil especially when you're getting hit and the next thing if you guys do want to run a secondary I recommend you taking off the EMP grenade I really feel that tactical grenades have fell in black ops 2 they're not as useful as I want them to be the only time they come useful is something in like MLG COD or professional gaming or any type of competitive gaming like capture the flag you can throw a concussion grenade and stop the flag in a map like this you guys see me I barely even use the EMP grenade probably like once or twice during the whole entire gameplay so thank you guys for watching I really hope you guys enjoyed the video if you did, remember to leave a like rating down below. It really does help out my channel and it helps me grow. If we can hit 125 likes on this video, it would mean a lot. So thank you guys for watching. My name is Mr. Tagbeast and I'm out. Peace.